Chapter 18, Work of Heart. No, please, Hector shouted. He coughed from the smoke, waving it away, trying to grab pain or panic or May or anything. But they were gone. Hades' demons had kidnapped May. Pain and panic were aptly named. They did cause pain and panic wherever they went. This was all Hector's fault. If he hadn't made the deal with Hades, then May would be okay. He didn't know what to do. He stood in the clearing, feeling hopeless. This was worse than when he lost the preliminary race to May. Worse than when Hades started haunting his every step. It was worse because it wasn't just about him anymore. It was about his best friend, his only friend. May, I'm going to save you. But how, he wondered, surveying the woods. The sun was starting to descend into in the sky. That meant he didn't have much time left. Also, he didn't know where the demons had taken her. Where could he even start? He thought back to what pain and panic had said, racking his brain, and then it hit him. They said they'd trap her soul in the river Styx. He remembered seeing the illustrations of the fiery river in the book May had stolen from the under library. He knew where the river was located, in the underworld. That's where they were taking her. That's where Hades was holding her hostage. All he had to do was get the Zeus cup by breaking it out of his family's store and then somehow find the door to the underworld so that he could give it to Hades and rescue May. But Hector hesitated. Releasing Hades from the underworld could be bad, like world-ending, cat cataclysmic, kind of bad. He shuddered remembering the images of the titans from the book in the library. But he had to save May. Maybe there was a way to save her and still keep the Zeus cup out of Hades' hands. Hades manipulated mortals. He tricked them. Maybe Hector could do the same thing. He'd have to play dirty to win this time. And he only had a few hours to do it. Hector had a plan, but he needed help and there was only one person left that he trusted. He found Phil lounging on his bed, playing video games. He was the oldest and the only brother who had a TV and PlayStation in his room. Phil, I need your help, Hector said, rapping on the door. This is my week off, Phil said. Stop bothering me, Wonder Boy. All I want to do is veg out and play my Hercules RPG. Don't you have autographs to go sign? He swiped at demons in the game with a flaming sword. Look, I'm sorry for how I've been acting, Hector said, feeling remorse pulling in his chest. I know I let winning the cup go to my head, and I'm sorry. It was a mistake. You got that right, Phil said, now looking up, and I'm never going to forgive you. What? Never? Hector said in surprise. He often fought with his brothers, but one rule in the Gomez family was that you always forgave each other after. But then Phil cracked a smile. Nah, I'm just messing with you, he said, grabbing Hector and giving him a solid noogie for good measure. Hector's scalp burned, but he deserved it. Hey, freak, get off me, Hector giggled, swiping at Phil. He rubbed his head. They both laughed hard, then settled down. So what do you need, Phil said, cocking his eyebrow. Figure it must be important for you to come in here and grovel like this. Uh, well, I need to get the Zeus cup out of the trophy case, Hector started. He felt a stab of nervousness, but plowed ahead. And Mom and Dad can't know about it. Phil frowned. Why do you need the cup? Uh, I can't tell you, Hector said. You won't believe me. Phil broke into a sly smile. Oh, I get it. Juan and Luca were right. You want to impress some girl, is that it? No, that's not it, Hector started, his cheeks burning with humiliation. Is it the girl from the track? Phil asked, suddenly interested. Okay, fine, Hector said. It does have to do with May. Phil nodded, then stood up and cracked his knuckles. Older brother duty applies in this case. I've got you. I'll help. Wait, you will? Hector said. Of course, Phil replied. What are older brothers for? Uh, kicking your butt at the track? Hector chuckled. Well, that too. So we gotta get that key from Mom, Hector said. Any ideas? No, that's easy, Phil said. He sifted through his desk drawer, then produced a set of keys. 
He dangled them in front of Hector, making them cling, clink together. No way! You have a copy? Hector said, his eyes focused on the hefty golden one. Yeah, when I turned 16. Mom said I earned my own set of keys for the store, Phil said, and that one day I'll inherit the business. But why didn't you tell me, Hector said. Phil clapped his shoulder and stood up. I don't know. She made me promise to keep it a secret. She didn't want you or Luca or Juan getting jealous or something. Figures, Hector said. What don't we fight about? Phil snorted. Yeah, Mom knows us pretty well. They shared us laugh, as only brothers could. Hector thought it over. So you'll help me sneak the Zeus cup out of the store? What if we get caught and you get in trouble? I could take a hit for the team, Phil said. Let's roll.